Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And welcome to Boofy's Bunker. I don't really know what this game is. <laughs> oh, it's cool though. Ooh, what are these? Well, hey there, partner. I'm Tips and Tricks Totem. If you ever get stuck on anything or have an enemy that you don't know what he does, I'm your man. I know just about anything about everything up in here. <laughs> just let me know if you need anything, buddy. <laughs> I am delete data droid. I will delete all of your save data if you touch me again. Beware my presence. Fear my metal body. Well, hi there. I'm How to Play Rock Radio. If you go through one of these doors, you'll be locked in Boofy's bunker with Boofy himself. The main exit is blocked off with some locked doors. Each door has a matching magic key hidden somewhere inside the bunker. And these keys are huge. Just carrying one of them would exhaust anybody. What makes them magic, you ask? Well, they teleport to a random location inside the bunker if they're put down. Make sure you crouch down and catch your breath every once in a while or you'll exhaust yourself. If you get exhausted, just make sure you rest for a while and you'll be running again in no time. Your lamp has very limited energy supply, so use it wisely. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. Oh, and watch out for Boofy. Why am I telling you all this? I'm not. It's all in your head. You're crazy. Now go get some keys, crazy pants.
out for Boofy Boy. He'll chase you real good. If he sees you and if he catches you, you're dead. Wow, I'm seeing you everywhere. I'm How to Play Rock Radio. Even though I don't feel much like a rock right now, looks like you've gotten inside of one of Micro Horror Arcade's arcade machines. These things are so much fun. Looks like this is the Survive and Escape House game. This is one of my favorites. There are locks on the front door, and that's your only way out. The keys are located in lock boxes scattered around the house, but these suckers won't open right away. You're going to have to wait them out. Make sure you answer the phone if it rings and keep up with the dog cage downstairs. Sometimes it gets a little moody and wants to shut off. And that is not a friendly dog. You do not want that thing running around the house. There are a few other monsters hanging around the place as well. There's one that oddly acts a lot like Boofy. Don't let that sucker catch you. And there's another that teleports around the house. You don't want it to be in the same room as you for too long, trust me. And there's one more, but I think it only shows up if you try to find a way around the house that isn't quite intended for use. Well, that's just about it. <laughs> Good luck.
I sensed an overwhelming presence inside the arcade. The name Zelion echoed heavily throughout the halls of the nightmare. I ventured into the plane, seeking a way to get closer to reality. But what I found there was the opposite. If anything, I was just stumbling deeper and deeper into that world, like struggling in quicksand. Boofy and I go way back. When I was born, my grandmother gave me a stuffed Boofy as a gift. My mother and father tried to take it from me, but it upset me so much that they just ended up letting me keep it. They didn't think very highly of my grandmother. When I'd ask why, they'd always change the subject or give vague answers to the question. As I was growing up, my parents would fight a lot. It got worse and worse every passing day, and it upset me very much. I'd always go to Boofy for comfort in these times. I'd lie in bed and pray that things would be different when I awoke the next morning. One day, my prayers were answered. That's where our story begins. Okay, the thing is that that played as like soon as I opened the game. Well, yeah, and then like, <clears throat> and then like I didn't have time to record it. So that's the first thing. And we already saw the other one.
Ivan? Alright, if we get another few likes, then um, I'll give 